So the new M4 MacBook Pros. Last minute kind of rumors before these things actually get announced or released. As far as an event goes, we haven't had anything official, but usually according to the timeline, end of October, which we're nearing, and early November would be about when they're announced or even released. Now these events usually aren't in person, but they'll set up little in-person areas for exclusive content creators to go to, to check them out before they're actually officially released to the public. So what do we know from these new MacBook Pros? Are they really gonna be that much different than our M3 MacBook Pros? Mm, no, not really, but we'll get into all the details right now. So let's start off with this design of these MacBook Pros. We're not gonna be seeing any significant design like maybe we had originally thought. I was hoping for something maybe a little more, thinner bezels, maybe putting in a, a dynamic island instead of the notch and having that utilized in some way. But it doesn't seem like we're gonna be getting that maybe until even the M5s. But what will be new hardware wise is that they may be adding some extra Thunderbolt ports. The base model 14 inch MacBook Pro currently only has two Thunderbolt ports and we may be able to see that bumped up to three, as well as a minimum of 60 gigabytes of RAM which previously is only eight gigabytes on the base models. This would also allow it to support up to two external displays, where right now it can only support up to, I believe, one. So as far as the hardware or design change, that's really as much as we're gonna see is maybe some extra ports on the base models. So obviously we already know a little bit about the M4 chip since they have them in the iPads, but just for some quick reference, they are still built off the same three nanometer process, but obviously they have improved power performance and efficiency. The M4 does have a new improved neural engine inside of it, which allows to help with AI. My biggest thing is that since we know a little bit already about the M4s and that obviously they are built for AI and so are the M3s, and M2s and all their M chips that are stated to be built for AI. If that was originally the plan to begin with, I'm not sure, but I'm curious with the M4 Pros and M4 Maxes if those were actually built for AI specifically, kind of like the iPhone 16 Pros, how they said they were built pretty much from the ground up to be utilized with AI as best as possible. Now, obviously the M4 chips in the iPad Pros compared to the M3 chip iPad Pros are about 25% faster. Now, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be similar with the MacBook Pros as well. It'll be around that same benchmark. The M4, as we know, in the iPads has shown a score of 3,864, and that's its single core score. Its multi-core score, is 15,288. So between the two, that's roughly like 27 or even 31% higher, I believe, than the previous M3s. Again, these are just basing off of the base models. This is not the Pro or the Maxes. They're also stating the M4 chips, GPU score is around 20% faster. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Is that enough to be sufficient enough over an M3 or really see that in real world testing? maybe by some odd seconds, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to really see a significant difference. So let's talk about the M4 Pros and the M4 Max chips. Now, these again are just rumors that have been speculated and not confirmed, but I'm kinda hoping for a bunch of these. Starting with the M4 Pro, that apparently it will have 24 gigabytes of unified memory to start. And then on the M4 Max, it would be 48 gigabytes of unified memory to start as well. This would be a big jump. I do know, and I think people underestimate the unified memory on how that really helps the computer perform all of its tasks and background and everything. So if this is the case and this is what it starts with and we can then up it from there, that would be fantastic because these are pro laptops and even your base model should still have pro features and including your M4 Pros obviously and your M4 Maxes. I'm assuming that they say since the M4s right now are 20 to 25-ish or maybe even 30% faster than the previous models that I'm speculating that's gonna be around the same thing for each one. So even the M4 Pros will be around 20 to 30% faster. M4 Maxes will be around 20 to 30% faster than the previous M3 Maxes, M3 Pros. Doesn't sound technically like a lot, but if you compare it from the base models to the top models, it's a big difference because the M3 Maxes already are a huge difference from just the base model M3s. And then the M4 Maxes will be a huge difference from the regular M4. So if you compare those percentages in between, if you do decide to get, you know, maybe you're thinking of getting the Pro or the Max and you're not sure which one, yes, they're all around 20 to 30% faster than the previous models. But if you go from an M3 Pro to an M4 Max, it's not gonna be 20 to 30% faster. You're probably gonna be gaining something like 60% faster or something in that realm. I don't exactly know, but it's gonna be a lot faster than previously. So you may see a noticeable difference 
in there. So I don't wanna get into too many spec details of these chips. The regular M4s have six efficiency cores in them. Now I'm thinking that if Apple wants to really sell just the M4 Pros, that they should up this by at least two more, giving it eight efficiency cores, and then maybe upping it again even more with the M4 Maxes and maybe giving it nine or 10 at least efficiency cores in order to make those enticing uh, sales really make them worth it. What we have to remember though too is the way Apple does things is that specs don't necessarily always matter. It's kind of how they all break together. So the M2 Pro chips way back whenever that was years ago, <laughs> we have to remember that those had eight performance cores. Now the M3 Pros only actually have six performance cores. However, they've added two more efficiency cores on that versus the M2s which were at four efficiency cores. So if you're still with me on this, it's all gonna kind of make sense. So even though from the M2s to the M3s, they lowered the performance cores and ended up adding efficiency cores, it still ended up making it way faster, which is why specs necessarily don't always matter. We always look at things on paper and think that, oh, it shows this, so it's not that fast. Apple's very good at utilizing their chips with everything else and their softwares and everything to make it as efficient and fast as possible. Let's just keep that in mind that if you see these, why are they making things lower, how are things higher? They know what they're doing, this is what they do. But I will say with the new M4 Pros, I can't see them bringing actually those two cores back and therefore it would bring it up to I believe an 18 core CPU altogether, which is very, very enticing, which means what is the M4 Max gonna look like? So the current M3 Max, just to keep in mind, has 16 core CPUs, 12 performance cores, and four efficiency cores. Interesting, right? Now, for the performance cores, I think they'll probably leave them maybe around the same at 12, and what they'll do is they'll add two more efficiency cores on it, so instead of it being four, they'll bring it to six, so it keeps it kind of ballpark all around the whole lineup of M4 chips, which of course, overall, would then give the M4 Max 18 cores overall, which is great, and hopefully this helps with a bit of battery life. Now that the battery life on the M3 Max that I've experienced is really bad by any means, but I mean, everyone wants better batteries, so why not? So if all those numbers and everything crazy that I usually don't like getting into doesn't make a lot of sense to you, here's the bottom line. You got an M3 Pro Max, and you thinking of, I need an M4 Pro or 4 Max, you don't, same thing with the iPhones, you don't need to upgrade every year, guys. It's not that, big of a difference that it's a game changer. Now, if you have an M2 or older, this is where I would consider maybe upgrading as it could be a big enough upgrade for you, especially with the heavy video editing. If you're doing that without a 4K, you will see a noticeable difference in that within rendering and exporting and able to layer a bunch of 4K footage on top of each other. I think that's where you really see it, especially with more efficiency cores as well. This will help things run around the background a lot better and uh, hopefully avoid any sort of major crashing that I have seen on some friends M2 MacBook Pros. So just to be careful with that, make sure that if you're gonna buy something and invest in one of these machines that are very expensive, that you get the one you want and you kind of, you know, future proof yourself to say. Overall, you know, I, I wish there was more of a design change. I think that'd be really enticing. They're probably gonna push this M4 chip as they did with the new iPhones and just say, it's made for AI and really be pushing that with them, which is totally fine. I, I feel it's the same thing again with their iPhones that next year's uh, M5 MacBook Pros will be a design change, or at least it better be. And it's like the same thing with the iPhone 17s that it should be a design change, or again, it better be, or Apple's in some serious trouble here. So hopefully we hear something from Apple very soon, maybe even by the time this video is out, I'm not sure. And then uh, hopefully we can get our first look on these, I will specify quickly on colors. I don't see any major color changes. Um, I know that the model I have for my M3 Max MacBook Pro is that darker space black color that people seem to really like. So I think they'll probably still include that. They may even add just one more color, maybe desert titanium MacBook Pro. I don't know. I think it'd be cool if they did something like that just for a different option since that seems to be the way that they like to entice people with maybe new colors for now. So anyways, guys, let me know which MacBook Pros you have right now, or maybe you don't even have one and you want to get one. Um, and let me know if you're waiting for the M4 MacBook Pros, or maybe you'll just get an M3 MacBook Pro on sale since it'll be for cheaper as soon as these ones get announced. So let me know that in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out, guys.